Hello. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, this is the doctor's office. Um, I'm a doctor and don't know them. But, I'm sorry, I'm kind of itchy today. Not sure why. But, today, um, I will be checking you in. baby today. Very meta for a medical professional to be having a child, I suppose. Okay. Are you on the schedule? Okay, let's start with that. patients are early because, you know, people always complain about how doctors are late to appointments and how they don't value the patient's time, but in reality what happens is when patients are late, it pushes our schedule back and then we're late for the next patient and it's like a snowball effect. So, that is amazing. I love, love, love early births. Oh, you thought your appointment was at this time? Oh, it's okay. Thank you for being honest. Well, Talk about some ADHD or some dementia tests, maybe. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. So, let me write down your name. And, um, what insurance do you have? Do we have that on file? haven't seen a doctor in years. And then, why is that? Oh, yeah. It is definitely expensive if you don't have insurance, so I'm glad we sorted that out. I'm really glad you have a good job now. We were able to come in. Oh, you, you married. And he has a nice job. Well, you know, even more. More power to you, you know? I would definitely, I would definitely not be working if I didn't have to. Unfortunately, unfortunately, my husband decided to follow his dreams. We met in college and he had so much promise, but, you know, he could have gone into anything, but now he's on Broadway. No, he's not on Broadway. He's off Broadway. Sorry. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Good for you. See how I don't wear a ring? I hope that someone will think that I'm single and decide to marry me. Well, pursue me. Perhaps they'll either be on Broadway, the real Broadway, or they'll be making enough money in some other lucrative field that I can quit my job. No, I love my job. I do. I love my job. I love interacting with people like you who are early. Okay, where were we? Um, okay. So, um, do you identify as a... Wait, okay, let's start here. Okay, so the patient intake questionnaire. So, all questions contained in this questionnaire are strictly confidential 
and will become part of your medical record. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, perfect. Patient. Consents. Consents to Okay. And your name, last name, first name, middle initial. Okay, so you already gave me that in your middle initial. Okay, and today's date is the 2nd of April 2024. And um, so what is your current address? Is that with a V or a B? V as in Victor. And do you know the zip code for that? Okay. Perfect. And your occupation? Sugar baby. Okay, you know we'll put we'll put not applicable, that's fine. Um sorry. Um, this is why I usually have my nurses do this. They don't have a sense of humor. So it typically goes better. Okay. Or maybe their sense of humor is more widely appreciated. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright. And can I get your phone number? House, work, and mobile? Just mobile. Okay. Move. Okay. Um, okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Two, three, four, six, 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 nine, five, four, five, four, five. Okay, perfect. And who is your previous or referring doctor? You said you haven't seen one for a while. Okay, Dr. Blankovich. And was that nearby? Okay, the practice has been closed. For 15 years. He died 16 years ago, so I have some concerns about um, your medical history, but that's okay. The less for you to know, the more for me to discover. Good thing that our schedule's very open today. We'll probably be here all day. Don't worry, it'll be fine. You can either get a sticker or a lollipop at the end, whichever you prefer. Alright, and how did you hear about me? Reddit? Do they say good things? I guess, I guess that's true. I guess we, we do do that. Okay, and I guess we are the least expensive. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That, that's a good reason to come to a doctor. Or a, the doctor. I don't even know they talked about us on anything other than like Yelp. But that's alright. Okay, chief complaint. What is the primary health concern that brings you to the clinic? What is the primary health concern that brings you to the clinic? Oh geez, that is concerning. I looked at. Don't worry. So when when did it start? Um, when did it start? Okay. Start. Um, why? What, what makes it better or worse? Do you notice? Look at the weather. And what would you say the severity is on scale one to oh? Uh, well that wasn't even on the charts, but that that's pretty. Okay. Okay, twenty six on scale of one to ten. Okay. List other health issues you hope to address. Alright. 
And they're gonna have them in alphabetical order, though, just help me out for later. Personal health history. List any other medical problems that others have diagnosed. Are there the problems that doctors have diagnosed? Okay. It's okay, we don't need this one in alphabetical order. Unless you have more than usual. The usual. Alright. Now, have you had any surgeries? Um, what year was that? And why did you... Okay. And do you know what hospital that was? Okay, okay and yeah. that surgery was... What year was that? And what was the reason for it, that one? Okay. And do you know what hospital that was at? At home? And wisdom teeth. We won't count that, but I'll just write it down. Okay. Other hospitalizations? Any other hospitalizations? Okay. Okay. Some mental health struggles in your adolescence. Okay. And do you know what hospital that was at? And the duration of your stay in the year. Okay. 72 hour hold. No biggie. Alright. Um, so list your prescribed drugs and over-the-counter drugs such as vitamins and inhalers. Alright. Calci so calcium and what strength is that? that? Like milligrams. Okay, and how often do you take it? Okay, um, I never have it. Okay. And alright. Zinc, okay. 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 And do you have any allergies to um, any drugs? You're allergic to meth. Okay. We'll talk we'll talk about how you know that in a little bit. Okay. And no object okay. Any other allergies that I should know about? That's unfortunate. Macadamia nuts. Don't hear that one often. Well, nuts. Another nuts. <coughs> Macadamia nuts are pretty good. Pretty good. Really expensive though. Expensive habit. So. Yeah, so you're not missing out. Okay. Okay. Health habits and personal safety. Describe exercise. Describe exercise. Exercise activities, the frequencies, intensity, time, and type of activity. For example, twice weekly beginner, one hour yoga classes. Okay. Okay. Any activities describe your interests, hobbies, spiritual practices, things you do to relax? Um, sure, we can TikTok, we can write that down. I wouldn't. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, anything else? Spiritual practice. Okay. Seances. We'll write that down. You learn how to do them on TikTok. Sounds legitimate. Um, anything else? No, okay, perfect. So, diet. Are you dieting? 
Um, okay, so no, that's good. How many number of meals do you eat on average day? Okay. What have you eaten in the last 24 hours? Okay, yeah. Okay, for breakfast you had... And for lunch... This morning, it's 24 hours. And did you drink coffee at all? Okay. Write that down too. <sighs> if the above dietary recall is atypical for you, describe a typical day here. It's pretty typical. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. List your favorite healthy foods. Yeah. Let's list three. Okay. We'll count that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, for caffeine, do you you drink coffee? How many do you drink coffee, tea, soda, coffee, and tea? Okay. How many number of cups cans per day? Two. One coffee. One green tea in the afternoon. Or lunch. Alcohol. Do you drink alcohol? Okay. What kind? Okay. And how many drinks per week? Okay. Are you concerned about the amount you drink? No, no, no I, I'm not. That's just a question. That's a question we ask everyone. I'm not implying. No. Okay. Alright, that, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, no, I'm not concerned. Um, and have you considered stopping? Okay. Have you ever experienced blackouts? Are you prone to binge drinking? Do you drive after drinking? Do you use tobacco? No. Okay. That's good. Do you currently have- do you currently use recreational or street drugs? Have you ever given yourself street drugs with a needle? Okay, so you smoke weed once a year. Okay, thank you for telling me. That's- yeah, no, that- that's something I need to know for sure. Um, and no needles. Good. <laughs> Are you sexually active? You with your husband? That's good. That sounds good. That sounds really nice. Um, if yes, are you trying for a pregnancy? Okay. Um, do you have any discomfort with intercourse? Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. do you live alone? No. Do you have any direction? No. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, let's take a break, and then we'll move on to the family history in a second. Okay, why don't you take this cup, and, well actually, I don't have a cup here, but go to the bathroom, and in the bathroom there will be a cup. Write your name, urine sample, do you know what I'm doing? I know it's been a while. Okay, good. That's good. Then, when you come back, we will move on to family history, and then some other things, and then we'll begin our physical exam. Okay? Okay, perfect. Well, I'll see you in a second. 